Okay, in a previous video I assembled and reviewed this, which is the XKBot. And I think on balance I was a little bit unfair in that video. So we're going to have a revisit and we're going to look at this again. Okay, so yes, this is the XKBot. Now it is a bit of a rip-off of the MakerBlocks MBot. Um, it's definitely used some of the same styling, some of the same design, but not the same circuitry, so it's not cross-compatible with the MBot. Now in my previous video I assembled this and I found it actually mechanically to be quite a decent little machine and quite a good platform for experimentation and so on. However, at the time of making that video I could not find an English app for it. There was a Chinese speaking app for it and it does its line tracing and obstacle avoidance thing naturally, but I could not find an English speaking app for it and that made it very very disappointing. To the extent that I titled that previous video The Little Robot That Couldn't. Now then, I've since been in contact with Banggood and they talked to the manufacturer and they couldn't find an English app for it either so they gave me a partial refund and I thought that was the end of the story. However, when I uploaded that video to YouTube a number of commenters very kindly tracked down the English app for XKBot which is really weird because it seems like the manufacturers didn't actually know about that or couldn't provide it whereas some of you YouTubers may be watching this now in which case thank you so much managed to track it down and found the English speaking app. So, we're going to have another review of this, now I've got the app. I've installed it on my phone, I had a little bit of trouble installing it at first, it said it wasn't for the right version of Android, but actually when you sideload the APK, it's just fine. So then, we are going to today test the XKBot. So let's get started. So I've got the app loaded already, and we're going to select XKBot, and it has four different modes. It's got motion mode, which I think is like a driver control, gravity induction, which I think might be using the sensors in the phone to steer it. Shake Shake, which I think you shake it and it just does random things. And Programming Mode, which is like a scratch variant for programming it to do specific things. Let's get it connected first. And we'll just try driving it. So, can I... Oh, close to the robot, the Bluetooth will connect automatically. Yay, it's connected. Let's see if we can... Whoa! And it works! I'm going to pull the camera out a little bit so you can see this. I think there's a high risk of me running this off the edge of the table. Okay, so... Whoa! It does seem to be... Um, it doesn't seem like it's got any actual speed control. It's, it's all or nothing. It's very sensitive. However, it definitely works. So, what's this thing do? That's... Whoa, that just... Uh, stop. <clears throat> that just boosts. That... Makes it spin in place. That does something similar. Okay. Um, that makes it turn on a light. And I guess that's going to make it beep. Okay, that in itself is really cool. And actually, even if that did nothing else, that makes it now a usable robot for education, whatever else. Let's just see. I'm going to have a little play with the... Oh, let's try the gravity induction mode. So... We start... Whoops. Okay, I need more space to actually do this, but I can tell that that is definitely doing something. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to have a little play with the programming mode, and let's see if we can get it to do something very specific and programmed. Okay, so let's give this a go. So I've just written a tiny, tiny little scratch program there that just is going to run it for a certain distance, change uh, some lights, turn, beep, turn again, and then run backwards. Let's see what happens when we start. So I'm just going to start over here somewhere I think. Whoops. Okay, I don't know what that means. Deal 1 slash 6. Oh. 
I think I need more I need more space to play with this. I'm going to do this on the floor. Okay. Let's see what we get when we run this now. There we go, purple light. Okay. So I'm going to now try <laughs> fun for kids and for small dogs. Let's have a go on that gravity drive mode now. Okay, and the only other thing left, left to try now is this shake shake mode. So... So in summary, I'm going to take back everything bad that I said about the XK bot in the previous video. I'm going to leave that video up there. I might change the title. But I'm going to leave it up there because it had some very useful comments from other people in the comments thread. I'll put a link to that previous video down below. I will also host a copy of the APK for the app for that and I'll put a link to that down below as well. So, in summary, should you buy the XK bot or not? Well, I would suggest download the app first and see if you can actually use the app. If you can install the app on your mobile device, then I would say if this is within your budget, then go ahead and buy it because actually it's quite a capable little machine once you can get it going. So I mean that's a happy ending and what a turnaround for this little robot, this happy little robot. It's actually got quite a bit of potential as an educational or entertaining little toy. So that's the XK bot which I bought from banggood.com. There will be a link to buy this in the video description below. That is an affiliate link so if you click and buy that way I do make a small commission. You don't pay any extra but the commission I make helps to support this channel. I hope that's been useful, and I hope you appreciate that the way I review things is I, f I take them as I find them. So if I find that it doesn't work, I say so, and if somebody corrects me, I'm more than happy to accept that correction. So in the end, as I say, happy ending, and XKBot, I would say, now is the little robot that could. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.